Yo, what is going on you guys? Balling Games 03 checking in back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video guys. Right here, we are in the Pats Unis. It's been a while since I had an away game and I do notice this Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium a lot because you know, last season we were in there a lot. So yeah, anyways, we get the ball first. You know I don't like that. But it is what it is. We have to work with what we got. And lately, you see Franco Harris. I've been starting to develop that new concept. Just, you know, just have two slants to clear out that zone. And then just send a streak from my fullback position. It's tending to work a lot. And it works with a lot of success. So I'm trying to build on that. Let's see if we can get anything going right here. Randall Cunningham rolling out. Nothing happened. We get stopped just shy of the touchdown. So anyways... We go ahead, hurdle it over the very next play, and to much avail, we do get that touchdown. But right here, man, my opponent, I don't know what was up with him. He was like in love with the full house formation. In fact, I think he ran this formation the entire game. And I guess he has a lot of success in his other games, but I mean, he literally ran this every single play, and it was just crazy. He was completely stubborn with this play. I mean, uh, he had some nice schemes out of it, but yeah, you'll see throughout the game, he just runs that, oh my god, Antonio Gates. I mean, we have some deadly stiff arms this year, but anyways, yeah, like I was saying, he just loves that full house formation, so we gotta stop that as we did it in our first possession on defense. So right here, we're driving up the field, we are midfield, first and 10, once again, Tom Brady, why did I just say Tom Brady, probably because of pass uniform, but Randall Cunningham makes a bad read. And actually, that was a good read, but Steve Atwater, I mean, that guy's just magnificent. He plays, he has some unbelievable ball skills for a safety, as I could say. But right here, he has Bo Jackson, too. I mean, this guy's team is stacked. So, Bo Jackson, on the second play off that counter, does score a touchdown. So, things are not looking too good. The game is tied 7-7. It could be worse, but, you know, I wanted to get that two. Oh, my. He... <laughs> Yo, he just killed that guy. I don't know who that was. Number 26. I feel sorry for him. But yeah. Oh my. I still can't get over that stiff arm. That stiff arm was deadly. Go ahead, rewind that if you didn't see that. But anyways, right here, we go ahead, give it to Antonio Gates up that post route. And we check it down this time to Jamal Charles. I did have that slant, but I don't know what I was thinking. He was definitely sending some pressure. He was sending like five or six every every single possession. So I had to keep my you know flats just for a check. But right here, this is the smartest adjustment I've ever made. So right here, I see he moves his middle linebacker to stop that slant or that post route. So I go ahead, curl Des Bryant. He was not expecting that. And wide open, Des Bryant was wide open. Go ahead, throw up the X, Des. Man, Des is approaching free agency. I think they might franchise tag him. That's probably what it's gonna look like. So anyways, right here, my opponent, once again, off that momentum from that first, you know, that counter play is going to try to go go ahead, try to score, put up some points in the second half. So right here, he finds that streak, to, but, you know, we can't. We're just letting him dink and dunk up the field because hopefully we do force a fumble in the near future because if you keep dinking and dunking your way up the field, trust me, your players are going to eventually get tired and you're bound to make a mistake. So anyways, right here. He's definitely, as I'm talking, he's moving up the field with much ease. So second and seven, he checks it down to Bo Jackson. We can't lay a big hit. I am trying with all my power to lay a big hit. But right here, you're going to see Antoine Bethea with that 95 hit power. Rocks him. But unfortunately, the ball does go out of bounds. So yeah, on fourth and two, surprisingly, he takes his points. So right here, we give it to Vincent Jackson. It's been a while since I said Vincent Jackson, but anyway, strong power to the left side. Jamal Charles picks up a nice seven yards. Play action, second and three. Randall Cunningham scanning the field, makes a bad read. So third and three, hand it off to Jamal Charles on that read option. We do move the chain. So once again, Jamal up the middle, not much going. Second and eight, Randall Cunningham gives the ball to Keenan Allen to move the chains once again and we are literally moving up this field and taking time off the clock we are milking the clock like crazy as we give it to keenan allen once again to pick up another first down this is definitely a really really lengthy drive but nate solder to top it off goes ahead walks into the touchdown gronk's the ball he's learning from gronk his teammate but anyways First and 10, my opponent has a minute to make something happen. And hopefully if he can get a touchdown right here, man, Bo Jackson, this, this card is just crazy. Obviously, he's definitely going to be the best halfback throughout the whole year. But right here, he tried to face catch, nothing happening. He tried that same 
quarterback, not quarterback, halfback draw, but nothing happening there. I got stuck on my D-line. Elvis Domerville gives Gronk a nice pop. So fourth and inches, he goes for the slants instead of running it. And we do get the ball. We just have to waste one timeout, but I don't even know why I'm not running the ball. I'm just doing something stupid. I'm getting a little too cocky. So right here, play action once again. Why am I not running the ball? No one can come up with that, thank God. So anyways, we give it to our 80 overall, Bo Jackson. And what else could you expect from an 80 overall? He fumbles the ball. So my opponent has like five seconds. If he gets this miraculous catch, I mean, he has a one-on-one -on -one coverage. I'm just praying. Thank God no one came up with that. But yeah, we do end up winning. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, if you did, go ahead, drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, I'm out. See ya.